What you are about to see is a demonstration of our data lock, data loss prevention module. This is a powerful tool to prevent critical information from leaving endpoints. It is very easy to configure. It is very easy to manage from a policy generation perspective. The wealth of data that will be pulled down by our module is critical to any compliance or information security program to protect and prevent critical information from leaving the endpoint. Again, everything is uh, first begins with setting up a group, okay, of people that we want to monitor or using an existing group that was pulled down during the initial Active Directory sync with our product, okay, when the agents were deployed onto the target devices or endpoints. We've already do, uh, denoted our group, okay, so let's go to policy management now. Now let's talk about the options we have available for this. So let's just use a pre-existing group. Very easy to do. Again, uh, you can set up a group and put users in there based on AD credentials, based on that BIOS address. Depends upon the uh, structure and function of the customer environment. Okay. And let's talk about adding policies here. Now, um, as you saw before, very similar to the recording blocking uh, 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 policy creation pane that we had. You're going to have multiple policies uh, to this data loss prevention um, uh, policy that we're going to be creating here. So let's talk about some of this stuff. Email, email, attachment, okay? We can block based on alert word, word as an example. So we've already created our alert words, okay? Let's just stay on this theme of um, uh, patient health uh, uh, plan beneficiary uh, information. So. We want to block that any single time there's a single occurrence because obviously this puts our customer in a difficult position from a HIPAA compliance perspective. And we want to apply this to all email. Okay, let's click next. We've already it already pre-populates the group that we want to monitor, so that's very convenient. Click next. We're going to name the policy. We're going to call this our HIPAA uh, plan bene, excuse me, beneficiary um, uh, number. Uh, monitor. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, scanning sales uh, for instances when uh, we'll abbreviate here P B N info leaves endpoint block. We're going to block it here. Okay, we're going to make this a high priority offense. Um, we're going to uh, keep this right now toggle to overridable, but uh, it's up to you uh, from that standpoint. There may be some instances when this information may have to leave the endpoint. Maybe human resources, as an example. I don't know. We'll keep okay. it toggled to yes, but normally you might want to just toggle that to no. You may not want any of these people to have the ability to ask for an override request. We're going to upload the context, meaning the name of the policy and the metadata that tripped up the policy. And as you can see here, we have a toggle here for report only. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, if you click yes, you're not they're not going to see the pop-up box that you're going to see in a second showing them the policy that they violated and the metadata they violated. Uh, normal instances, we will click no. But there may be a situation where you have a high-risk employee who is already um, delineate themselves as a problem you may want to from a uh, uh, termination proceedings perspective all the way up to litigation you may want to um, uh, highlight a yes uh, and not let them know that they're being monitored. In any event, uh, we created our policy, click finish. Recipient, this is going to be the, the uh, notification that's going to go to the recipient that's going to be re, uh, receiving this uh, notification uh, in our uh, 
uh, perspective here, probably some of the HIPAA compliance, as an example. So um, type in their email, and we mm -hmm. want to make this a uh, immediate notification that this information is attempted to be sent out. To this data lock uh, policy um, group management policy here, we can add as many policies as we want to this group. Okay, So we can add another policy in addition to what we just set up here that blocks specific file types. Okay. Based on the 40 some odd categories. Okay. We can dis we can disable removal meeting media anything that hooks into the US um, let me back up here. I got ahead of myself. So removal media. This is this is applicable to um, uh, if somebody hooks uh, a device into the USB port. Anything with a drive letter attached to it could could be a thumb drive could be a printer with a built-in storage device, as an example. Anything with a drive letter attached to it, okay, they'll still be able to run the printer, but we're going to uh, blacklist the ability of them to upload any information to that uh, removable uh, drive, as an example. In any event, um, <clears throat> we can block based on file type, as an example, or content. Okay. I check the expression we just showed you up to a uh, uh, anything with a drive letter attached to it. We can uh, disable the ability of this individual to both uh, write information up to anything with a drive letter attached to it, and also read and write what could potentially be on that device. Okay. Mm -hmm. And the final policy here is, and this happens a lot inside of organizations. So let's say you have a, a poorly partitioned drive or a, a root folder that has not been properly set up uh, via firewall rules uh, from a access uh, privilege perspective. Um, somebody actually gains um, uh, access to these folders, they can then take the information and put it onto their desktop. Well, you can set up a policy based on regular expression, certain con uh, certain concepts or strings inside that document we can scan for, okay? We can also prevent certain files from being, um, uh, or, or scan for certain files that should not be on a target device, the uh, file type as an example. So okay. the data may have not gone anywhere, but well, maybe the person is looking to do something with the data in the future, okay, and move it off uh, someplace else. So we can scan for that and create an alert notification based on that. Our algorithm now is going to scan all emails, okay, to see if this metadata is in these emails or being attempted to be sent out. So we're going to scan for this plan beneficiary regex expression that we created earlier. Um, if a violation is detected by our algorithm, okay, this is an example of what the user will see happen on the screen. Okay, so if it's sent out via webmail, it'll be blocked, the transmission will be blocked, the Ajax call will be blocked. If it's being sent out from the mail server internally, that will be blocked. Okay. So mm -hmm. essentially speaking, I'll see a policy violation pop up. And as I mentioned earlier, they'll see the policies that are violated in the description. If uh, they believe that it's necessary to override this information, they can then request override. Okay. Now, if this is being sent to the mail server, there's nothing else that has to happen here for this user. So if this is something that needs to go out, the manager will get a notification. He logs into the management portal here. Okay. Mm -hmm. He sees the policies that were violated. He sees the metadata that tripped up a policy. Simply speaking, he approves. The request, click OK, and then the uh, a request to the mail server is allowed to proceed, as an example. Okay. And that, so, that approval override is also stored somewhere then that, because it, I, I'm guessing it is, it has the reason for approval. So I wonder, I guess if somebody approved it, but you know, in the future that wasn't supposed to be approved, you're going to be able to track that, right? Correct. That'll be all here. Okay, great. All right. So let me just cancel out of there. We can also see also all the policy violations. Again, this is a very sophisticated SIM application here, as you can see here. But it's, it's very intuitive as well, OK? Mm -hmm. From here, if we take a look at another event here, we can see the number of policy violations. We can see the severity, the status, pending override, violation detected, locked, as an example. <clears throat> 